What's up guys, this is Jay Bomley here and what an awesome day it's been in Pokemon Go today uh, especially with the Lapras raid event which started at 11 a.m. today lasted until 2 p.m. Uh, East, uh, actually local time um, awesome event uh, I went through a lot of raids today uh, probably around uh, more than 10 I couldn't record all of them but uh, I did record most of them my phone did run out of space which is unfortunate so uh, this is just a recap of, you know, uh, my event today with the Lapras Day. I did hit level 40, which is awesome. It took me a while to get there. Uh, I have to say that I'm really happy to get there. I started this when the game came out, but I did, um, I did quit halfway through with, uh, you know, most players did quit uh, halfway through because it wasn't too fun with all the changes uh, and all the dysfunctional stuff happening in Pokemon Go back then but now it's actually a really really fun game and I'm at back and did hit level 40 while playing the Lapras Wait Week which is great and not relevant but I just gotta say to all the Raptors fans out there today today's a big day Raptors finals they're gonna play Golden State which is huge but anyways this is about Pokemon Go this is not relevant um, but yeah, I did manage to uh, hit two shinies. Uh, I think the first one was on my ninth raid. It was far in, and then I didn't think I was going to get one until I clicked it, which is great. Um, but yeah, we saw the previous week, the Extraordinary Raid Week, which is fantastic. Uh, but there's been some talk about, you know, what's going to happen with the... or what's happened with... Uh, the general Pokemon Go players who don't have the time to uh, commit to gyms, you know, taking the 50, po uh, 50 Poke Coins per day. Um, it's really tough for them to do more than two raids per day. Uh, maybe even one, because you get one free raid passes per day, right? Um, so, with the Extraordinary Raid Week, for those majority of the Pokemon Go players, uh, you know, who have work, school, uh, and all that stuff, who's busy, it's tough for them to get more than one raid in this event. So I've been hearing a lot of down, um, negative feedback on this event. But, uh, you know, especially with all the previous raids that's been happening prior to this event, like the Azelf uh, release and previous Groudon Kyogres uh, that came back. So that was... You know, and the general Go players, they weren't expecting this event to come out. So they would be using their existing raid passes on those events. And, you know, it's tough to build those raid passes back. Um, if you don't spend money on the game, that is. But that's just my take. But anyways, um, we are going to see... Let me just check. Uh, it was actually really fun because I was playing with uh, some Go Pokemon Go players in the community. Uh, we hit, you know, raid train to uh, get as many raids as we can within that three hour uh, gap. But it was pretty much a successful day. Uh, we all got shinies in this event, except one, which was kind of sad. But um, let me see, there is a event coming out. Uh, they are releasing a new shiny form in the upcoming week starting Monday. Uh, Cresselia will be shiny. It will be in raids for a week. Uh, let me just double check that for you. But uh, let's take a look. It's going to be lit though. Um, so exciting. So it's in the Pokemon news. Uh, so starting Monday, May 27th, uh, starting 1 p.m. to the following Tuesday. Actually, no. Uh, oh, it's lasting for two weeks, actually. Let me check the calendar. So it starts on Monday. One. Two weeks, actually. Oh, wait, no. One, two, three. Three weeks. So that's, that's amazing. Three weeks 
um, Monday, May 27th until June 18th. Um, Cresselia will be released in raids. And if you're lucky, you can get a shiny Cresselia, which is crazy. Uh, and then after Cresselia, Kyogre will return from June 18th once Cresselia is done. Up until June 27th, this one will be shorter. Um, just roughly about uh, a week and a little bit. Because Kyogre has been released before. Um, and then after that one, uh, Kyogre, after Kyogre leaves, Groudon comes back. Uh, which could be also shiny and starts January 27th until July 10th Which gives it more than Kyogre's the shortest one Not bad, but still yeah So for Pokemon Go players that miss Groudon or Kyogre shiny, this is your chance to get it and for those I'm pretty sure everyone is excited for um, For Cresselia shiny, so that would be great and especially when this is the summertime rolling around, uh, the weather's great for you to go out uh, to take a walk, you know. But yeah, so anyway, this is that. This is my recap for the Lapras Day. Just some other Pokemon Go news that while you guys are watching this replay recap. But yeah, I try to speed this up as much as I could uh, just to show you guys how many raids I did. Not all of them though, because like I said, my phone ran out of space, so I had to delete some vids, post it onto my Google Drive, and then post it back, so. But yeah, um. Oh, and the next Community Day has been released for Slaykoth. Uh, a lot of people have been contemplating this one for a while now. Uh, the top three was, I think it was Trapinch, um, was one of them, Slaykoth. And Bagan, Bagan was that came out two, uh, two weeks, two two months ago, uh, and a lot of people were predicting that this one will be available in a community day, and now it is coming out next month in June. Uh, June eighth is confirmed the day, three p.m. to six p.m. as usual, uh, local time wherever you are, and could be shiny, as usual for community days. Uh, Bonuses incubators will hatch four times faster, four times. So you can get those hatching, especially when it's summer, you can take walks. You'll be hatching a lot of eggs. Um, so if you have any poker coins, um, just make sure you stock up on those incubators. Those are really good. Uh, so yeah, jot that down on your calendar, June 8th, three to six. Um, but yeah, everything else is the same. Nothing new. Or nothing else new came to Pokemon Go. Um, and yeah. May 26. Yeah, so the Extraordinary Rate Week does end. Oh no, sorry, my, my, my bad. No, Lap Lapras is out tomorrow for Asia's, Asia Pacific. So today was everywhere else but Asia Pacific. Um, so tomorrow, for anybody who is there, Asia Pacific, it's going to be tomorrow, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. So that's great. Uh, but Extraordinary Rate Week will be ending May 28th, which will be on a Tuesday um, at 1 p.m. PDT. So if you guys have time, just make sure you go out there. Even if you don't have enough rate passes, you get used that free rate pass, which is great. yes uh, I really hope you do enjoy this video level 40 it's it's such a awesome milestone in Pokemon Go uh, it takes a heck of a lot of XP to get there a lot of grind um, but I just want to let you guys know so with the uh, best friend system the friend system that came out is so much easier for it to hit level 40 um, when I started playing or when a lot of Go Pokemon Go players started playing in 2016 when the game came out there was no such thing. All there was was uh, gyms, uh, catching Pokemon, the lucky eggs, evolving Pokemon. 
and that was it you know there was no trading no uh, no raids raids give you a lot of XP too 10,000 for a level 5 um, so that was crazy 2016 was so much grind uh, I was a hardcore Pokemon Go player back then uh, up until that day when you know a lot of stuff started um, not happening uh, you know the trade systems things getting delayed caused people to stop playing so but yeah for all those Pokemon Go players who are level 40 I, the grind is real but for everybody else um, keep going keep grinding you'll get there and it's such an amazing accomplishment but yeah um, I hope you guys got a lot of or caught some shiny lapruses. Uh, I see on Instagram a lot of players or some players they get like six shiny lapruses and as you know it's all luck. It comes down to the RNG random generator. So some players can get six, some players get one, some players get zero. But anyways, that is that. <laughs> Um, I'm actually rewatching my replay right now while recording this, and I think I'm gonna cut off the the sound of it because it's just hilarious. Um, but yeah, I hope you do guys love this video. Um, I'll be back in a bit just to let you guys know about other stuff with Pokemon Go. Especially with the uh, PvP. PvP is big. Um, they released the competitive play for uh, the... Of course, there's a Great League. Uh, let me just see what else. There's three of them. And I've been wanting to try it out. Uh, where is it? Dang it. Uh, yeah, so there's a Great League. Max CP is 1500 for the Pokemon you choose. Uh, there's the Ultra League. Cap is 25. And of course, Master League, which has no limit. But I'll be back in a bit to let you guys know. Um, yeah, hope you guys like this. And I'll be back. Oh yes, so this is where I got uh, my second shiny Lapras. I wasn't able to get the first recording through because I did run out of space. So the first shiny Lapras, I, was, I couldn't get it through and I was so upset. Um, but that's, that's definitely okay. So anyways, um, I've been doing a lot of reading in terms of the Pokemon Go uh, leagues. The Pokemon Go Great League, Ultra League and Master League. Uh, a lot of people are playing the Great League, which has a cap of 1,500. Um, 
and trying to see if I can go competitive. I've been trying to see if my local area has some competitions, which they do. So probably gonna hit some up and see how I do. Yeah, um, they have some Pokemon that they have research that does very good in great leagues. And I'll be posting some of that stuff later after I have everything tested out uh, in regards to this. But yeah, uh, some top tier Pokemon. For one, I know Best Bestodon. I don't know if that's what it's called. Um, the fossil Pokemon. Do I have it? Nope. I think it's Bastardon or Bastodon. Something. That's what it's called. That one is pretty good. Uh, Alatria is good. Um, Melmetal is good if you can get one to fifteen hundred. Um, yeah. I, I, I'll definitely be doing a lot of searching up on what's good and the counters. I think how it works is you have six Pokemon, um, you pick six Pokemon as your team, but of course you can only pick three, right? So your opponent can see your six Pokemon, you can s your opponent can see your six Pokemon, you can see your opponent's six Pokemon, and from there you pick three that you want to be on the team to face your opponent. Uh, I, th I believe that's how it works. And yeah. So once I get one of those through, I'll be posting a recap of it and some probably hopefully some tips after I read through, you know, all that stuff, which is great. Um, what was it going to say? Oh. Yes, so um, for Pokemon TCG, for people who play Pokemon cards, or people who don't, I, I really suggest that you guys play because it, it is an awesome game. Um, and yeah, so I built an awesome deck, which is really, really fast in the meta. Actually, I shouldn't be saying this now, but I will be posting a, a deck profile for Pokemon, Go player, uh, Pokemon TCG players. So stay tuned for that because it will be awesome. I did some deck testing, uh, which is great, because it. I think it wrecks Rush's uh, Zard, pretty good, um, but I'll have that in the next video and a recap. Uh, but yeah, I, I think this event is really awesome. The way that Pokemon Go is like rolling out events after event is really good uh, but other than that I, it this, the only reason I came back was because of all the, all the new changes that they're making with like friend system trading um, lucky Pokemon and releasing a lot of new generation Pokemon is really cool and awesome so but anyways I'll be posting a new video soon and i hope you guys will enjoy this video if you do give me a thumbs up i appreciate it and i'll see you guys next time peace out Woo, yay! finally 140. oh we can do a lot of stuff